Hi everybody, I'm Doug with the product team here at Sophos and today we're going to be looking at how to onboard an AWS environment into Cloud Optics, which is a CSPM or Cloud Security Posture Management offering from Sophos. Now as cloud providers adhere to the shared security model, the infrastructure of the cloud is inherently more secure than on-premises IT environments. However, cloud security has become a dominant concern because the major challenge that cybersecurity teams face is a lack of visibility into the workloads deployed in those platforms. So in the absence of that visibility, it's hard to say with any confidence whether a specific set of controls has been implemented. Sophos Cloud Optics bridges the cybersecurity gap by relying on machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms to keep track of how the resources are being deployed. As part of the setup, it's agentless and it uses scripts to connect the Cloud Optics SaaS management console to your public cloud accounts. These scripts set up read-only access by default and once run, usable information showing inventory and topology should start showing in the console within a matter of you going to grab a cup of coffee. Now, the only prerequisite here is that you should have a Sophos Central account with Optics subscribed to it. So let's take a look at how you can onboard an AWS environment into Optics to address these challenges in the cloud. Okay, so first we're going to navigate to central.sophos.com. This is Sophos Central, the unified console for managing all your Sophos products. And then under My Products, click on Cloud Optics. And upon logging into Cloud Optics, uh, customers are presented with a main dashboard showing a high-level summary of alerts, feature highlights depicted with a short video, a to-do list, just kind of an at-a-glance at the security and compliance posture and information about changes made to the customer's environment. So in the left navigation pane, we're going to scroll down to Settings and then click on Add Environments. And then in the Add Your Cloud for Environment window, we're going to click on AWS. And there are two options available for onboarding an environment. The Quick Start option creates a read-only role in your environment and gets up and running within minutes. And as part of this demonstration, we will onboard the AWS account using the full setup option that exports and analyzes flow and activity logs using Optics. We further provide the option to choose between CloudFormation, AWS CLI, and Terraform as the methods of connecting Optics with the AWS platform. So today we'll be looking at onboarding using CloudFormation. As a prerequisite for onboarding the environment, open a new browser tab and then browse and log into console.aws.amazon.com. So once you're logged in there, return to the Cloud Optics tab and click on Go against the CloudFormation option to begin the onboarding. This will open the pop-up to provide you with the option of onboarding multiple accounts in one go. You can click on Add a single AWS account here though and click Continue. Then click Standard Setup in case you don't have an existing cloud trail to store VPC logs and you want to create a new one, so click on Continue. Then click on the Launch button to begin the onboarding. Now this will automatically redirect you to the CloudFormation service of the logged in account in a new tab. Review the parameters and click on the checkbox to authorize the creation of IAM resources. So click on Create Stack. And now the setup process begins. This can take up to 15 minutes to complete. So when that's done, verify that the status of the stack is changed to Create Complete. And then going back to the Sophos Cloud Optics console, navigate to Settings, Environments, and then verify that your AWS environment is now displayed as being successfully added. That's it. So I hope you found this video useful. You can check out more interesting cloud security videos on this channel and contact us at public cloud at sophos.com if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Take care.